Darling, you owe me four weeks lottery money and it's a rollover this week. Listen, Bob, Amy said she's had enough. She's packed her bags. She's laid it on the line, Bob. And unless I can get a flat or somewhere for us to live, she's not coming back. All we've got to do is stick to the plan. Oh, that poor lad. If it weren't for bad luck, he'd have no luck at all. I'm doing the best I can. I love you, Amy. You still love me, don't you? I'm worried how we're going to bloody manage. Everything's going to work out. I promise. Oh my God, what is it? What's the matter? I don't know how to tell you this. Just tell us. I think we've won the lottery. Part of my job is to establish the actual winner, which is technically Denise, because it's your name and address on the back of the ticket. And to make sure that there are no abnormalities like unpaid up members of the syndicate. You mean me? Actually, yes I do. Up until now, my life has been very uneventful. Some things have taken a turn for the worse and some for the better, like we won the lottery. So you'll not leave me, Stuart. You'll never leave me. Because you can't. By the way, we had a call at the station from an Owen Jones. Said he's been trying to contact you. He came in. Yes. Why are you in trouble? I did something I shouldn't have done. You haven't killed anyone, have you? Kind of. So, tell me, what winning the lottery means to you? So I've bought loads of new clothes. I'm having my eyes lasered one at a time and I've had my hair relaxed and one or two other things. Like what? I'd rather not say. I bought a Lamborghini. I've got a black Porsche coming. But most of all, I've got money now. And money buys you power. So nobody can get one over on me. Everything's changed. Life's sweet. So it's only a matter of time before it all clicks into place.